if you've been using the typical share your slides full screen when presenting in Microsoft Teams or Zoom meetings. In this video, I'm going to show you what's possible when you take your presentations to the next level. Now, just so you know, everything I'm going to show you is done in plain Windows 10 and Office 365, the same tools you have, and you're not watching a manufactured video. This is a screen capture of a Teams attendee screen. This is being done in a live Teams meeting. So anything you see, you can do. We're going to start with my video on a customized image background. So I've decided that I want to brand the start of my video, so I have an image background. Well, I'm ready to move on. I drop the image background out. I move my video down to the corner. I make it smaller. Why? Because I want to show some PowerPoint slides. And this is PowerPoint running in a window. It's not full screen, so you still see me talking. But I have all of the features of PowerPoint. I have animation, so I can build this process piece by piece. I can even use advanced features like Morph that allows me to zoom in on a section. Now I'm done with PowerPoint. I can drop that down and I want to show you some more images. So I'll just bring up my images again and I can show you images. Here's one of me presenting on a virtual session. Here's one of me doing virtual training with some comments from the client. So a lot of flexibility. I can bring images in so I can do that. I can also move my video around here, make it a little bigger because I want to show you maybe some web content. So I can open up a full website, scroll through. This is my website. I can scroll through. You can show any web content you want. I could even play a video. This video here, I could play that if I wanted to. Now I could play it here or I could play it in YouTube. Why would I want to play it in YouTube? Well, because when I play it in YouTube, it allows me to use closed captioning. Closed captioning is going to have the words come up as the audio happens in the video. So let me play a little clip and you'll hear that happen. You look at this slide and you go, oh my gosh, Dave, there are so many numbers on this slide. And you're right. There are over 390 cells. For See how the words come up on the screen enhance the experience for your audience. They not only heard the words, but they saw them as well. So you can bring in any web content that you want. Done with the web content. Now, let's say I want to answer a question somebody has in Excel. So we're talking about some calculations in the presentation. Somebody says, well, how would this change if this particular input changed? OK, let's go take a look. So you bring up Excel and they say, well, you know, all of these are numbers are negative in the graph. What if one of them was positive? What would it change? What would it look like? Well, no problem. Let's go and change one of those numbers. But they say, Dave, it's a little small on my screen. Could you make the numbers bigger? Well, absolutely. Most programs allow you to zoom in. So I can zoom in so the numbers are much bigger. Now I can type in, let's say, uh, 12,700, hit enter, can zoom back out and look at the graph. And indeed, the graph has changed. Now it shows a green segment instead of red because the number is positive. I've been able to answer their question right away on the presentation. And again, you're still seeing me speak on the video. I'm done with Excel, no problem. I'll make that go away. I'll move again my video smaller to the corner because I'm going to bring my slides back. Now let's say I want to use a slide that has text on it, but I'm not going to use the typical bullet and sub bullet. I'm going to use visual text and then I go to my last slide. On my last slide, I can bring my video on top of my slide, make it bigger, and add other content. So I'm going to bring back the image and make it smaller and move it off to the side. All of this is what you can do when you take your virtual presentations to the next level.